Hello, my name is Dr. Julian De Silva, and today I'm going to talk you through the very essential elements of face and neck lift surgery, what is actually involved in this procedure. Initially, it's important to put local anesthetic into the areas of the face and the neck that are having surgery. And when making an incision to the skin, the key with any facelift surgery is to make the scar as discreet as possible. And that means hiding the scar in the natural curves of the ear and also in the hairline and behind the ear and taking precautions such as using three levels of stitches, avoiding like staples, using the finest stitches that are removed after one week as opposed to dissolvable stitches. All these little things will encourage you to have the finest possible scar. And taking these precautions, 99% of patients will heal with a fine scar. Now, there's a tiny percentage of patients who can have a more troublesome scar or a keloid scar. However, taking all these precautions can minimize that. Now, once the skin has been incised, the next step is to make a flap from the skin. And that means undermining the skin in order to, to release the loose skin so that that loose skin can be removed and a smooth and um, natural contour to the neck can be applied. Now, beneath that, there's different ways of lifting the face. And the commonest ways would be um, described as a smaz lift or lateral smaz lift. And that really means lifting just the, the the area just in front of the ear in order to lift this um, the, the jowls and the area that's have softened. But when you really look at facial aging, most of the changes that happen with gravity tend to be more towards like the middle of the face. And so any surgery on the more lateral part towards the ear have less effect. So more advanced techniques such as deep plane face, face lifting tend to look at that area and lift it more naturally. And so a more sophisticated technique such as deep plane, plane face lifting, in my opinion, gives that slightly better result by um, giving um, that lift in that area. You preserve more of the natural anatomy and because of that, you tend to have less bruising, less swelling, and there tends to be faster healing. And so it's important to reshape that loose skin and close the skin. And it's important to avoid um, scars and by, by having minimal tension on the skin and um, using three levels of stitches, taking time to into consideration to follow the natural curves around the ear. Well, all these measures are important in terms of making any scars as discreet as possible. And then finally, the stitches. Well, using stitches that are removed after one week, three levels of stitches, avoiding staples. All of these things are important in order to make any scars as discreet as possible. And often this is what takes most of the time. It can take 45 minutes just to close the skin on one side in order to make things as discreet and hidden as possible. So what changes with face and neck lift surgery? Well, it improves the jawline, it improves the contour between the jaw and the neck, it improves the definition along the jawline, and ultimately that gives a more youthful appearance. I hope this information has been useful for you. Thank you for watching.